Hey, what's up guys? This is Monster with a another tutorial. Um, this one is on how to burn a CD on Mac so that it works with multimedia devices like Xbox, PS3, and virtually any media device. Alright, so what you want to do is download a program called Burn. I will have a link to that in the description. What you want to do is put all the songs that you have that you want to burn to a CD into a folder. And what you're gonna do instead of like dragging all the all of them one by one, make sure that's on the audio tab. It's most likely gonna start on a video. There's multiple tabs and you can click on any of them to like use them for different uses, but for this option you're going to use audio. And, uh, put all the songs into a folder, drag the folder into burn, it will check all of the files. And just give it a minute to do that. Alright, so now that that's done, what you want to do is name the so name the CD, I'm just going to name it Tutorial, and make sure it's set on Audio CD, that is, that is the default, but what you want to do is make sure that it's on that, just so that it doesn't mess up, you can mess with the settings if you want, add in, this is where you add songs from like a drop down box, and what you want to do is click Burn. Um, make sure that it there shouldn't be any other options, but make sure it's, uh, it's set on DVD RW. Click that. Uh, make sure it's at the maximum speed so that it burns fast, and click burn. It'll say burning. It's going to just burn. And sorry guys, I don't know how to pause my recorder. I'm using a new recording software, so I do not know how to pause it. So you're just gonna have to bear with me. I will put a a time in the description for when it's done so if you don't want to sit here and watch this burn uh, I'll just put the time in the description that it stops burning so that you guys can just check it out and just finish the tutorial from there Yeah, but... Oh, it's all good. You can block them. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go to screen flow help. Nope. No, I will find out how to pause this.
Okay, so apparently there is an help page for pausing recording for my software, guys. So, yeah, you're just going to have to bear with me if you're still watching this. I doubt it. You probably went to the uh, link your time in the description by now. So, but if you're still with me, cool, cool. I'm going to try looking at the tutorial document. <laughs> there has to be something that says how to pause this. Oh no, I'm not gonna go through a whole tutorial on how to use this. Well, right, let's try YouTube. You guys are familiar with YouTube. Pause record. See? Look, you see? There is no pause button. They do not. They do. There is nothing on how to pause the videos. Well, looks like I need a new video recording software. Nah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna keep using this for right now, guys. So, I don't know. It's at 8 out of 9. It's almost done. I found a better one. Alright, it's in its final seconds, guys. If you're still with me, I doubt it, but... Alright. Alright, I'm back, and as you can see, it says closing session it is finally complete. For those of you that stayed with the end, sorry about that talking... But, alright, so, uh, most likely when you put a bunch of songs together, it's not going to find a name for a CDs if you have iTunes. Well, everyone has iTunes, what am I talking about? Alright, so, quit out of burn, and as you can see now, it will say audio CD, it should say tutorial, but it doesn't. I don't know why that is, but yeah, as you can see, here are all your audio tracks that you burned. And alright, thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. This was how to burn a CD for multimedia devices uh, such as Xbox, PS3, or other devices of media storage. Alright, thanks. This is Monster. Peace.